Alright, in this tutorial we're going to find the limit as h approaches 0 of the function the square root of 1 plus h minus 1 all over h. And to achieve this we have a list of limit laws on the right hand side here. But if I was to try and apply a combination of limit law number 4 and limit law number 1, let's see what problem we run into because on the top as h approaches 0 the square root term goes to 1, so we have 1 minus 1, which equals 0. And on the bottom, we have h approaching 0, which means here we have a case of 0 divided by 0. And with 0 divided by 0 being undefined, we can't determine the limit with the function as it is. So we're going to have to use some algebraic manipulation. So let's copy the limit. So we've got equals the limit as h approaches 0 of the square root of 1 plus h minus 1 divided by h and what I want to do is to get rid of this radical sign or this square root term and to do that I'm simply going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the root of 1 plus h minus 1 which is the root of 1 plus h plus 1 and what I do to the top I do to the bottom as I've mentioned so effectively, I've multiplied by 1. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. The top is just a difference of 2 squares, so we have the difference of the square root of 1 plus h all squared minus 1 squared divided by h by the square root of 1 plus h plus 1. So the radical and the square cancels, so we have 1 plus h minus 1 squared goes to 1 and I'll leave the denominator as it is so we've got h by the square root of 1 plus h plus 1 and we copy down the limit so it equals the limit as h approaches 0 of all of that 1 and minus 1 will cancel each other and now I've got h on the top divided by an h on the bottom and they can cancel each other so this limit now equals the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 divided by the square root of 1 plus h plus 1. So can we apply limit law number 4 now to this one? Let's see, because obviously the 1s are not affected, but as h approaches 0 here, the square root term is the square root of 1. So we have a case of 1 divided by 1 plus 1 which of course equals 1 half. So let's copy the original limit for completeness. We've got the limit as h approaches 0 of the square root of 1 plus h minus 1 all over h is equal to a half. Okay let's confirm this result graphically. So here I've graphed the function y equals the square root of 1 plus x minus 1 over x. You can do this yourself with Desmos Graphing Calculator. It's a great tool. Check it out. And the good thing about this is I can drag my mouse here to get values of x and y along the locus of the curve. So you can see as I approach 0 from the left hand side, I'll get closer and closer to 1 half. Now the function is not defined at 0 because of a division by 0. However, if I approach 0 from both sides, we still approach a half. So the limit of 1 half still exists, although it is undefined at x equals 0. Okay, so that'll do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the section below this video. I'll do my best to help you. Check out my hundreds of other tutorials and playlists on this channel to help you with your studies. Till next time, best of luck. I'll see you on the next video.